According to the United Nations, it's more dangerous to be a woman in a conflict zone than it is to be a soldier. An unpleasant thought, right? Well, that's what led the UN to pass Resolution 1325 in the year 2000. Its aim? To inspire a new approach to international security, where the views and actions of women are every bit as important as those of men, and where their inclusion is guaranteed. For too long, the needs and interests of women have been ignored, both during times of conflict and when making and keeping the peace. If peace is to be sustainable, then it must include the voices of women. You can't ignore half of the population. NATO has a proud record of implementing 1325. We achieve this by incorporating gender perspectives in all aspects of our operations, from planning through to execution, utilizing a wide network of gender advisors, and appointing women to senior decision-making roles in our civilian and military bodies. In June this year, NATO appointed its first female military commander to lead Allied Joint Force Commander Naples. This coming October, the first ever woman Deputy Secretary General joins NATO as the highest ranking female civilian in the almost 70-year-old Alliance's history. But much more needs to be done. In a world that's changing rapidly and where we face a rising tide of violent extremism and terrorism, women will be disproportionately affected by these threats. In order to find more sustainable security solutions, men and women need to work together. Women need to be involved at every stage and every level of our operations and missions. Improving gender equality is essential for our ability to do our job right. Diversity gives us strength and allows us to achieve our common goal, lasting peace and security.